This machine is here in Austria and it's gonna be in Texas. So a couple of the things that really stuck out to me with this machine is how customizable it is, how it's built for accuracy, and how they actually thought about the operator when they were building the machine. So to start, like what was mentioned in the walk around video that Titan did in Austria, is they talk about the duo block design. So the machine base and the bed are two separate components. And it's supposed to help out with a lot of thermal stability and stuff like that. I've personally never ran a duo block design, so I'm really curious to see how well it performs. So the first thing we'll talk about is our dual spindles. So we got a main and a sub spindle. Both are A26 spindle nose interface that has a 65 millimeter bore through the main spindle. That's where the 65 comes from on the machine. You can get this with a big bore or a super big bore, but it comes standard with 65 millimeter through spindle bore, A26 spindle faces, and both of them are direct drive 5,000 RPMs. Now for the upper head, the B axis, we have a HSK 63T. We went with that because we also have the same interface on our UML 630. So in order to standardize tooling, we went with the HSK 63 here as well. You can get this with a Capto C6, which is probably closer to industry standard here in the US, but we wanted to keep our tooling the same and not have to have a bunch of extra tooling laying around. So that's why we went with HSK. Now for our lower turret, we went with a BMT 55. Now this is a 12 station turret. You can go with BMT 45, which is a 16 station. You can do VDI 30, VDI 40. They got so many options on this, it's crazy. You can also even do two lower turrets. So one on this side, one on this side. It's, it's wild how much you can customize this machine. The sub spindle has cool it through and a parts ejector and that is a standard feature with all these machines. Now we, we went ahead with a, a parts catcher and a conveyor. Uh, that is an option as well. We went ahead and got that. Now that can go on the main or the sub. Now what I mean by having the operator in mind when they build our machines, it kind of sucks when you get a machine in and it seems like the person running the machine was an afterthought. I know we've all run machines like that in the past where Hey, the machine looks great and everything, but working on it is an absolute nightmare. Fittings that you can't get to, it's a nightmare to try to reach into and all that. Now look at this machine, how, number one, how big the door is. Titan talked about that a little bit when he was in Austria, of how good your viewing window is. Even this glass right here, it's just so big, you can just see everything as it's actually working right there. But not only that, what I like more than anything is just how low this sheet metal is on the machine base. So this makes it really easy to be able to get in here, work on my turret, you know, load tools, take stuff off, load parts in, check stuff. Now I've ran mill turns in the past where this was basically way up here and I'm a short guy. So it's kind of hard for me to reach all the way in there. So if this is all the way up here, now you've got to like stand way back to be able to get inside the machine and it really made it difficult to work with. I really like this design the best of any mill turn that I've seen so far. So why don't we just give it a little run, let you see it move. Another way that we can tell that they had the operator in mind is that they put a Siemens control on here standard. I almost fell and that was <laughs> going to stupid. There's a reel for you. So another way that you know they got the operator in mind is that they put a Siemens control on here. So they're really worried about your mental health. They want you to have a good experience running their machine. So another thing that's kind of cool is that they put this M Connect on here. If I open this up, I can load things like documents, digital services, stuff like that. Like I can hook this up to the network. I can download that right to my machine and I also get remote support. So if I had something that was messed up, it's really hard to explain to somebody over the phone. They could remote right into the machine and they can see what I see. So that helps when you're trying to troubleshoot things. And just so you know, we are the national distributors for MCO now. So be sure to check out our website at tinesandcnc.com if you're in need of one of these machines. Let us help you out with this process. Another thing that I think is cool that helps us out as an operator is notice this little bar that they put in here and they've got it laser cut with the maximum tool length and tool diameter. So it's right there in your face when you go to load tools. That's pretty sweet because 
I've seen manufacturers not put anything like that on their machines. There's no sticker, there's nothing. So unless you have the manuals or something, there's no way of knowing what the max tool length is. So I, I, I know I've personally put tools in the ATC that I didn't really know if it was gonna be able to uh, tool change. So I just had to hope for the best. So this being right in your face with the diameter and length is pretty nice. So it's actually pretty easy to change tools out as well. We just open this up. All I gotta do is turn this handle, pop it out, pull it out. It is poke yoked as well, so there's only one way this can go in, so it keeps your timing. So that's pretty sweet. Pop it in. The machine comes standard with a 20 tool ATC, but you can get 40, 80, even 120 tools. Another thing I like, uh, I didn't know if I was gonna like it in the beginning, but I'm starting to really like this, is your, your chuck pressure. So I've never actually seen just a, a digital gauge before. I've only ever seen like the dials, but this one, say I turn this to whatever bar that I want, whatever pressure I want, then I hold the middle button for I think three seconds, and it's gonna program that in. So that is gonna be now my set point for my chucking pressure. So now when I'm running parts, it's got a small window there of over and under that if that chuck goes to clamp on your part and it doesn't meet that range, it's gonna alarm out. So that's pretty nice. Now don't tell Titan, but I am a little bit mad at him for not getting the protect my machine feature on here. So if you watch that video where he toured the Austrian plant, the machine that they were running had right here on the ATC, they had another interface for run my virtual machine. It's actually called protect my machine. So you guys remember in the grip video that I did, I showcased the run my virtual machine software from Siemens, how I can basically run a digital representation at my computer, full 3D simulation, run the controls. I can do everything I can in real life right there on the computer, you know, minus making chips. You can actually put that, a version of that on your machine. So what it does is it does a look ahead and actually runs collision avoidance to make sure that you don't crash your machine. It's a really cool feature. I was hoping we were gonna get it. We don't, bad on you, Titan. If you've got a barrier in your shop, you need to have that software. It's gonna save you millions. <laughs> <laughs>I just wanted to take you guys around this machine. We literally just now got it set up. You know, I just wanted to show you how customizable this machine is because every shop is gonna be different and your needs are gonna be different. And that's one big thing that I've seen with this machine that you can tailor this machine for whatever your needs are. It's really operator friendly. Once we get our shunk chucks on there, we're gonna be going through a bunch of different videos for you guys. I'm really excited about getting on this machine. I haven't been on a mill turn in a while, so it's gonna be really fun to get back on that show you guys some great videos. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all in the next one.